Guys, what is up? Josh here with TerrierOwner.com. Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. The channel is specifically designed for those of you with Terriers. A lot of the videos are about Jack Russell Terriers, but these are designed to help you care for your Jack Russells or other Terriers and have some fun while doing it. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Otherwise, let's dive into today's video, which is the exact opposite of our last video where we talked about eight things Jack Russell Terriers love. In this video, we're going to cover all of the things Jack Russell Terriers despise and the things that they hate. And we're starting right now. All right, guys, like I said, it is time to talk about eight specific things that Jack Russell Terriers despise, that they hate, and that drives them crazy. This first one here, I'm going to try and actually get her to demonstrate for you. But the first thing that Jack Russell Terriers hate is when you stop petting them. Usually, they will do something like lift their head move their nose underneath your hand just to get your attention again but if you start rubbing their belly or giving them a nice little rub they are going to try and let you know that they want that to continue <laughs> every time if you stop they they're waking up they have to have that constant hand movement but if you're petting them keep them Keep in mind that they are going to hate when you stop. Number two guys, and this isn't really something to worry about, but it is true, or it's true of Luna here especially, is Jack Russells are pretty protective of the unknown at the property. They don't really like unwelcome visitors until they have a, you know three to five minutes to warm up to you. Luna here, we had a fridge delivery a couple weeks back for a new fridge. She wasn't very welcoming towards the delivery drivers for that. She was obviously not where she would, you know, run up to them or jump around them, but they don't like people that they haven't met. They warm up and they're very friendly to them after they do meet them, but you're probably going to get some of that barking or some of that little under the breath kind of growling when those situations occurs. They protect their area. Guys, my third one here is this dog hates just being out of sight, out of mind. That doesn't mean you can't leave them home alone or you know crate them when you go to bed it's actually the opposite i highly recommend it but overall when there is activity in the household they want to be a part of it they don't want to be put back behind a little baby dog gate i still do it all of the time but it drives them insane they do their little whining to get back into the action to get your attention they hate whenever you do that, but you kind of got to just push through it because sometimes you need a break. Sometimes you need to run some errands and live your life. And sometimes you just have other things you got to do that doesn't involve them. They get used to it. It's not a big deal, but they still hate it. I have no idea what she's doing right now. She's acting kind of like a weirdo. All right, guys, the next thing that Jack Russell Terriers hate is fighting for your attention. Typically what I mean by this is fighting with another animal like another dog These dogs are definitely jealous. They don't want your attention diverted to the other dog. Of course, they want to Be the one receiving the belly rub or the head scratch or the ear scratch or whatever it is that you want from me right now But they don't like fighting for the attention. They certainly will but you can tell that whenever you start putting that attention towards another animal that they get a little bit jealous and they want to move in and take back over their kingdom guys another thing that i have found that jack russell terriers are not a big fan of is not having the ability to do things at 75 miles per hour if they choose going outside they want the ability to sprint around they want the ability to run around and act a little bit crazy inside especially when they're young i think the general consensus is a lot of this energy gets burned off you know they calm down later in the day or as they get older obviously this might change a little bit but overall guys this is kind of a quick pace dog they can certainly relax with you kind of like you see luna doing right now if that's kind of the the tempo you're setting for the day or the specific time of the day with what you're doing but overall guys if you know the situation calls for it they want to move quick they want to be high energy they want to act a little bit crazy it's just how these dogs are. It's kind of how they behave and something you kind of have to prepare for if you're going to adopt one. Guys, the next thing that I have found that Luna here hates, and she hasn't really gotten too much better with it, and it typically occurs if you're taking her for a walk, but 
Luna hates vehicles. She always acts a little bit skittish, even if the vehicle is a noticeable distance away from you. They always get, she gets like kind of whiny, acts like a little baby and a little hesitant on those walks. And she is old enough now that I thought this would grow out of her, but I just don't think that they like cars. Which actually leads me into the next one here. Another thing that I think that Jack Russells don't like, but here's the thing with this one. I think if you socialize them and do it often, this would change. But Luna here does not like vehicle rides. The only times we've taken her in a vehicle, both have ended up with some kind of mess in her kennel. She whines, she doesn't like it. But again, I think that if you're the kind of person that maybe goes to the dog park a lot, or maybe you go out hiking with your dogs, or take them to the lake, or take them camping, or they're just in a working vehicle, like on a farm type environment, I think that a lot of Jack Russells probably don't mind vehicles, and it's just a Luna thing here. But nonetheless, she is not a fan of cars. And it doesn't really bother me too much because I typically, outside of going to the vet or maybe a specific travel situation, I don't really have the need to bring her in a car. But guys, down below, be sure to share some of the things that your Jack Russell hates. What are some of the things that just drive your Jack Russell Terrier up the wall, makes them restless, they don't like it? Be sure to drop those comments down below. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, be sure to do so down below couple videos every week for you guys useful content on how to take care of these guys be sure to give us one of those pause up thumbs up on the video it helps us out immensely when you do that we love to hear from you guys so again be sure to comment and as always guys the same way that your thumbs up and comments on the videos help us on YouTube visiting terrierowner.com helps us get seen more on our website so be sure to head over to terrierowner.com Check out the blog and all the useful resources on that website. We greatly appreciate it. We hope you had a great Christmas, and we will see you guys in the next video. Take care.